It's me. It's me. It's Driver 53. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Six Ashes here on PS4. Y'all, this little tractor here is getting it done, but it's not liking it. I don't know what is going on. It really makes me question if I have the right weight. I went a little heavy on the weight because it's one that I needed for fertilizers. And I'm like, I'll just use the same one. But it really makes me wonder if that is the issue. So, what we're doing here today is I'm putting a headland around this field right here. And then we're going to have... Jacob come over and he's gonna help out with it see I mean it's just dancing I mean look at this this is hilarious Jacob's gonna come over and he's gonna take over and then as soon as I get done with the headland I'm gonna run right over to the other field that you see in front of us and I'm gonna start throwing barley in that field that's right barley I haven't done barley in quite a while so that's what we're doing gonna get some straw off of it I know I may not be the most high yield for straw you want know i want to do some barley like i said i haven't done it in a while i think it'll be all right for what we're wanting to do oh come on just a little bit farther over there we go and then what is that maybe i should raise it up there we go. I mean, I guess that works better. I really don't know what's going on, y'all. It's like the crumbler isn't even, like, in the ground. So it makes me think that it's sitting too low. But I can't raise it, because if I raise it, the whole thing comes up. So maybe it's just the, the tractor itself is just too low causing that. But as soon as I get in with this, we're going to park this thing over here. And we are going to let... Jacob take over. I'm going to run over here put barley in this field. A headland at least. And then Oliver's going to take over there. And then I'm going to go mow. Well, cut some tops off of the sugar beets. We went and I had Jacob run up there and pick up the mower that we're going to need for that. We'll go get the harvester after a while. And uh, we're going to get that knocked out today, too. So I don't know if it's all going to be in this episode or not. But that's everything that we plan on doing. So in the last episode, you know, we had a big, long list of things that we wanted to get done. We got just about all of it done. Not quite. You know what? We're parking this one. Holy cow. Right here. All right, so let's run over here. So this is going to be our Fent 820 Vario, Vario. And it's going to be this guy here. Um, yeah, let me show you the name of it again. So it's uh, the Botterstad Rapid A600S. If I said that wrong, please correct me. But the, the Vaterstad Rapid. 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 I don't know. Sometimes I talk in an accident that I don't know if it's real or not. Like even close to what someone else would say. So, uh, we got some seeds in here. Like I said, we're throwing barley down. So, this is a 6 meter uh, planter. Cedar. Sorry. Um, so, we should be good to go. I'm going to drop it down. Turn it on. Make sure I'm over far enough right here. Looks like I am. Perfect. So we're uh, gonna rock and roll. I'm uh, I'm getting excited, y'all, that we're putting this stuff down. Um, we're not gonna seed the other field because, like I said, we're gonna do some. Oh, I didn't fertilize. <gasps> uh oh. You know what? We're close enough. It doesn't matter. I'll keep an eye on it. I should have fertilized. And then seed. 
but we're close enough here. Um, I just live, honestly, right over there. So I'll keep an eye on this stuff. I won't worry about it too bad. We'll get it fertilized and we'll be good to go. Like I said, we're gonna do at least one headland, probably two here, then we're gonna let this thing sit, get Oliver, and we're gonna go use the little guy over there, the other Fent, and uh, we're gonna cut off some tops. Sounds like a lot of fun. All right, so here we go. Oh, come on. He's a little tricky today. No, it's just like this field is just really, I don't know, It it's not that it's not friendly. It's just got its few little spots. You just have to be really careful about what you're doing. I just want to say thank you again, GB Modding. This is a awesome, an awesome map it truly is I am a American from right in the middle of the United States like honestly I live close to St. Louis Missouri if you guys don't know where that is look at the continental or the lower 48 states put your finger right in the middle of it and I'm pretty close to right there if you do know where St. Louis is, I'm about 35 miles south. So, it's a, it's a fun time around here. But, like I was saying, as an American, this is an awesome European map. I was very intimidated to try this out because of the hedges. And I'm very, very glad that I did. I really enjoy this map quite a bit quite a bit so thank you GB Monty you are awesome I can't wait to try some of your other maps out too I was uh, reluctant like I said to try it but then when I saw all the pictures of this place of this map I was like oh I gotta do it I've gotta just do it and uh, very very glad I did so I'm definitely gonna be checking out some of your other ones uh, some of well if you're listening yes some of your other ones and if you're not, y'all go check out some of GB Modding's maps. They look phenomenal. So, we are going to park this one pretty close. It's right here on the edge of the field. Oop, going through the hedges again. Sorry. Alright, right there. So now let's get out and let's go run over to this one. Here's that storage container. It's really nice. And if you look at it on the inside, it's already got a bunch of the stuff. I mean, it's got jumper cables, and I've got electrical cord. I got, looks like a jumper box. I mean, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. So, definitely they hooked me up really well. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to put here, y'all. I don't quite know yet. I don't know if I kind of want to level this out and put a building up here. This is where I could store some other equipment I mean I know I've got the farm down there but it's just really really tight and like even the fertilizers oh excuse me the sweet tea hasn't kicked in yet even the fertilizer is not really wanting to chill out well in the little shed um so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do and like the the baler and the mower and all those things they're really long and they're not gonna fit in there really really well so, I may just bring them down here, throw a little shed up, and be good to go. So, this is our 511 Fent, our little horsepower guy. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lower this down, turn this on, and we're going to cut these tops off real quick. So, what we have to do here is cut these tops. That way, whenever we come by with the harvester, we're good to go. Now we're getting a harvester that we're going to pull behind a trailer or a tractor this time instead of the big one like we did in Stone Valley. Um, the reason is because I don't think I can get that piece of equipment back here, the big one. 
honestly. It is huge. I mean, absolutely ridiculous how big that piece is. And the roads, you know, as you all know, around here are not very big at all. So I'm really relying on this drone now to help me out here because the trees and everything are so close over here at times. And this is a pretty big field. I'm excited to have this one. We're going to put um, barley in this one too. So I'm going to have two fields right here that are going to be running the same crop. So that is exciting to have this straw. So I think I'm going to rotate between barley, oats, and rye. Uh, barley, oats, and wheat, not rye. Sorry, that was on the last map. Um, and, you know, I've got that field 41 over there, too. I'm definitely going to be doing something with it. I don't quite know what I want to put on it yet. I mean, I kind of have an idea. But I'm not 100% sure yet. So, we, uh... Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate how I'm going to get around this corner. Um, I, I know I'm definitely going to harvest it, but I don't know if I'm going to put anything back into it for a bit until I get some of these other ones uh, going. And then we'll figure out that one over there. So, if you guys have any ideas for what I could put in that field 41, let me know. I don't want to put something with straw. Just because it's so small, I don't want to get that... Um, harvester or the baler down there and everything like that it's just going to be really complicated to do so I don't want to get that uh, intense down there with it what do you guys think what's a good crop for down there um, you know as soon as we get these cut a little bit more um, well, as soon as we get this cut, we're going to get started on all that. i got to run back up, pick up the equipment for to harvest this, and then we'll get to harvesting here. And then we will, um, you know, use the truck and everything. i got to wait till the guys get done um, seeding before I can really get started on this too much. So I don't want to go too fast until they get done because... It's only a 6,000 capacity on the harvester, um, which is going to fill up fast on these, really fast. So, I definitely need their help. I might get to a point where I just let them do it too, and then I'll go start on the, oops, other field. That way we can get as many things planted today as possible. And then once we're done on this field, I'll be ready to help hammer out all the other stuff and I don't think we're gonna do any grass today I think what we would do is probably do some contracts if we have time I mean it's already 12 o'clock I don't know how long this sugar beet harvest is gonna take I've not used that little harvester before but hopefully hopefully not too long I hope I'm doing a pretty good little headland here that once I start going to town back and forth it's not going to cause me any problems. Alright. Turn off. There we go. Alright, well, I think I'm just going to keep going on this. We're going to get, hopefully the other guys, they went to get lunch real quick just down the road, obviously at the uh, the cafe some fish and chips so I think we're gonna take a little bit of a break here when they get back eat a little bit and then we're gonna get into it so I will see you all once we are uh, a little bit farther into this all right everybody we have the um, harvester here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and unfold it 
Maybe. Hmm. Alright, hold on. How do we do this thing? How? Do I just run straight over? It's not on the side? Oh, that's so weird. Alright. Okay. So, we're going to turn this thing on. And we are going to uh, rock and roll. So, we're going to go right around the outside first to give ourselves, you know, a typical headland. For sure. There we go. So it looks like six miles an hour is how fast we're going to be going today. <laughs> oh, man. So I had to take the grain that was in the truck over to the cell point and get rid of it. Because um, I'm going to need all the room in this truck that I can get. Turn right here. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep going around this way. I don't know if it's necessarily super important to go this way, but we will. I mean, it's close to the edge. So, I think what we're going to do, probably make one trip around here, and that should get us pretty close to being full on this one little pass, or on this tank. So, we'll have to uh, unload, and then we'll uh, go again. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on the line here and how close I'm getting all that. So. I think I'm definitely going to have Oliver come in here and start going to town on this and I'm probably going to go next to it and uh, start collecting everything. Not collecting, but like dump into the... Uh... Oh! Did we get it? Alright. Dump into the truck. I'll start driving it and let him go to town on this thing. trickier than it looks, y'all. So I'm glad I'm making this headland all the way around. Alright. We're so close. This is crazy. Just this little bit right here is getting us that much. Now, I know 6,000 isn't hardly anything at all. But, wow. Yep, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get started here on this little bit again. And then give uh, Oliver a chance to get over here. And, um, oh, give him a chance to get over here. Then we'll be good to go. So what I need to do now is put the pipe out. And which one was that? Pipe out is seven, okay. Oh, it's on that side. Of course it is. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go grab that really quick and see if this will even work. If we need a tractor and a trailer, I think we should be okay. So we're gonna be okay to drive over this too. It's not gonna cause any problems. So there we go. What do you guys think of that? That is great. Sugar beets going in. So, this is going to take a while, y'all. It really is. So, I'm going to get this out of the way here. And then we'll, uh... Yeah, I need to get uh, Oliver over here. So, 
We'll see you guys once we get an update. All right, everybody, we have a full load here. And you may be asking, what in the world are you doing over here in this corner? Well, y'all, the prices are not that great right now. So what I am going to do is I'm going to dump these right over here, right in this awesome corner. And we're going to wait on prices to go up. And when they do, then we will take them over there. Oh, is it going to let me? Hold on. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to pile these things up as high as they'll let me, and then I'll pull forward a little bit. And we'll just come back later, and we'll either use a bucket, or we'll use a conveyor belt, and pick all these up. Because like I said, the price is not that great on them right now. And then we're going to come over here, and he is already ready for another round. Going to let him throw them in here and then we'll be good to go so we're making pretty good progress so far um, I've got to run up to the store and get one other piece of equipment that we need for the other field so I'm gonna do it while these guys keep knocking this out really quick I'm gonna have Jacob um, be in this one right here and Oliver is gonna keep harvesting and like I said I'm gonna go grab a piece of equipment and something that we need for the other field because we're putting a different crop in there. Like I said, we're doing something we have not done before. So, I'll see you guys when I'm back with it. Alright everybody, we got the uh, the harvest done over there on the sugar beets. And now, this is what I was telling you that I was going to plant. So, these are poplars. They're not going to grow tall. They're just going to be, you know, short, I think. Um, I've done some research on this. But I still haven't planted any. So what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, plant a few in this field right here. Apparently you come back and you cut them down when they're about as tall as a tractor is. And you bale them up. And then you get to deliver them to either the sawmill right here. Or the bale places I think will even take them too because they are a bale. Which is awesome. So I think we're going to plan on selling everything right here at the sawmill. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to turn on my help menu here because like I said, I've never done this before. So what I need to do is lower it first. There we go. And then I need to turn it on. All right. And then I'm just going to try and drive right along this edge right here and see what happens. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Is it putting some in? Oh, it is. Look at that. Oh, that is so awesome. So I'm going to try and go in a straight line right here. Because then I'll just come back on the net. Oh, I got off a row. Well, I think what I'm going to do is try and go up and down. And get these as close as I can. Make this entire field poplars. So, man, I am not doing a straight line at all, am I? There we go. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just come back and forth. I think these things will lay over pretty well. Um, I'm going to try and do the entire field like this right here. So, when we get down here to this end, turn just a little bit. Now awesome so it went right to the edge of the field and then it stopped and I see up there that it says allow create fields so I'm wondering could I do this and kind of like make my own hedges ooh that's an interesting thought I do have another map where I might be able to make my own hedges that is really interesting. So like I said, I think I'm just going to keep going back and forth in this thing. And trying to... Uh, 
plant these as close together as I can. That way I've got the entire field covered. So, let's turn it back on and see what happens. Okay. Huh. So this time now it wants to throw it over there. What's going to happen here? Ooh. Alright. Alright. So this isn't going as uh, fast as I thought it would. I thought this stuff the saplings would go a lot lot faster and it's not so I'm glad I only got one box but if I run out I'm gonna go grab some more so let me keep working on this field here and then we'll uh I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done how about that I think that'd probably be best so we'll see you guys then well everybody one pallet of saplings wasn't quite enough had to go back and get another one so, we're doing pretty good on this field. Really good, actually. Um, so, let me go over here where there's not many of them. Bring this thing over here. Oops. Pull this up. I think that's about right. Oh, no, wrong, wrong button. Wrong button. There we go. I don't really use this very much anymore. I think I want to do a contract where it's a, a transport contract for sure. What do you guys think of all these bees right here? It's a honey spot. So you put some manure in and some water in and uh, it's got little greenhouses and bees. You a little, make a little bit of money. Now it's not something that I'm really, I don't think I'm gonna have the time to be able to maintain it right now. But it's pretty cool. If you guys are enjoying this map too, I think it's something to definitely look at. Leave this bad boy right here. So now we're going to run back over here. I had uh, the guys take a little break real quick. But I mean, we're not doing too bad. Made a few passes. We got to come back and clean this up a little bit. Just a little. You see, we're making like a checkerboard pattern right here. And I'm kind of wondering why. But we'll get it. So we got... Uh, a little bit more to go here so let's turn this back on I think what I want to do is that there we go we're good good now so turn it back on and here we go all right perfect everybody so once we uh, get this done we'll definitely be showing it off but every bit of this is going to be covered with poplars so I think now we're going to let, after I get done with this here, we're going to let, um, uh, uh, Oliver take back over. And I'm going to run down and start working on the harvest, the one right there down by the, uh, the buildings, the farm, uh, field 41. It is ready now. So it turned this afternoon. So we're going to go and get that out. That way we can start prepping that one too. Um, I've got a plant down here on the other farm. Hey, actually, let me go show you that. So this one over, you know, what, I'll go. Ooh, well, we'll hop the barbed wire. Ah, gotta be careful. All right, let me run through right here. So this field here, we're ready to plant now. It's been fertilized. It's 100% fertilized. We've cultivated it. We've limed it. We've plowed it. So we just gotta get that right there. And I couldn't do it because I need that tractor so we'll get on that I'm gonna plant it and then we'll get down there and uh, start harvesting so busy day busy day y'all
It's good though. It's good to be busy. It really is. It's feeling like a like a real farm now. So let's hope we can get everything done before dark. That's the goal. Get everything done before dark. So we'll see ya in a bit. And y'all, this is the the last little bit. This field did not take very long at all. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to put in here. And I don't know. I uh, I want to put something decent in here. You know, decent size uh, field. So I just don't have a whole lot of room around the outside to work. I'm almost thinking about putting poplars in here too. I mean, I could probably put some some more straw, barley. You know, just to have another another field of straw, so we can just keep hammering out all that. Um, Oh, what do you call it? Ah, uh, TMR. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we could probably do that. But I don't know. It's going to be a toss-up between poplars and barley. So, I'm going to try and throw this here. Back on this. Let's see if I can do it today. Get it lined up. Oh, back up a little bit. There we go. It's on a little bit of a hill, so it's going to be tricky, I think. See if we can drop it down. Back up. Just a little bit. Maybe about right in there. What do you guys think? Right in there? Looks like it worked. Awesome. Alright, so... Don't knock it down the hill. Don't put it down the hill. Alright, so I gotta figure out somewhere else to park this. You know what, actually, I'm not gonna bring the header with me when I park it. Because it made it very difficult to get out last time. So, I think the header is just going to get parked somewhere over there. And this is going to go... Oh, oh. It turned really sharp on me. This is going to go back where it was. Underneath. And the header is just going to get parked over here. Um, that way I can just back this thing out whenever I need it. And be good to go. So, turn it off. Why is that door still open? I can't figure out how to get the door closed, y'all. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't rain and fill it up too much. So, let's go sell some, uh, some grain. That's what we gotta do. The guys are down there at the other field finishing up. And, um... Yeah, we got Jacob playing, and Oliver is doing the um, the poplars. So I'm gonna run this over there, and then I'll put this truck back in the garage, or actually go get a um, conveyor belts. We need to do that too, don't we? Yes, we do. We still got a lot of work to do, y'all. All right, I'll be back. All right, everybody, here we are. We're gonna drop off. 2726 liters of soybeans this is off field 41 it's hardly anything but it's gonna get us a little all right 4300 dollars like I don't think there was any fertilizer on that or anything so what we're doing now is we're gonna head back to the um, the back fields down by the hunting spot I need to come up with a name for that area. But we're going to head back there and start loading up potatoes because the price is going up on those. And I really want to get those delivered tonight because tomorrow is going to be a busy day of bailing all day long. Um, we're going to be cutting. We're going to be 
windrowing, we're going to be wrapping, we're going to be hauling all day long. That's all we're doing. I got a feeling. I don't think we'll have anything, shouldn't have anything ready to harvest. So it's just going to be bail, 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 bail. It's going to be fun though. So like I said, taking this back, two guys, Oliver, Caleb, are sitting here working on this field for me. And they're doing a pretty good job. Jake is in there. Did I say Caleb? Jacob and Oliver. Jeez. Jacob's in there right now doing that. Oliver's sitting over in the other wing getting ready to start planting. I'm going to go back here. Excuse me. Let's start working on this. It's getting to be late. Holy cow. It's, uh... Yeah. I mean, it, I think it's time for a nap for some of us. Um, we're heading back here. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like now. All the poplars in the ground. Let's look at that. Look how pretty that is. I mean, it looks like just like a normal crop. But these things are gonna grow up to be little trees. And so the cool thing about poplars also, and I didn't get 100% coverage. It was a pain trying to get that. So I'll take you out here and I'll show you. We've got a few spots that we've missed. Just the way that the planter was putting them down. It was being finicky. Um, if I had to do it again, I would not do it on a field that looked like this. I would do it on a field that was um, rectangular. Or at least straight. Right? Um, so what's going to happen? All of these are going to turn into... I mean, it's going to be taller than I am. And then we're going to come along and pick them up. But the really cool thing... Look at all these perfect lines. For the most part. See, we've missed a few spots here and there. But I think we'll be alright. But the cool thing is, once we cut these... They're going to start growing right back. So we're not going to have to plant them again. So this is the only time I have to plant. That's super exciting for me. So I just wonder how much we're going to get off this field. You know, the price that I need to look at is wood chips. Um, even though it's a bale, it's going to go off the wood chip price. So like I said, we're going to take this truck here run down and put it close to our sugar beets because our sugar beets are getting ready to be taken to the sale point so oh looks like uh, Jacob's done so I should probably uh, run back down there I want to take my truck down to the other place and leave this one down here for a bit I think I'm going to use the truck to haul the conveyor back so we'll see you guys in a little bit all right so we got our first load of sugar beets over here now it's not a crazy price but I want to go ahead and get this done it's 518 it's been a long day I just want to go ahead and get this done so me and the guys can relax because like I said tomorrow we are gonna be hitting it hard on bailing so we should make a pretty good little penny here. Um, I think we're going to have about two, maybe two and a half loads. So, let's see. Alright, we're done. 5500 bucks. I mean, it doesn't sound crazy. But I mean, for kind of a free crop, you know, if I can make. 11,000 on it maybe a little bit more it's not bad I mean I it cost me to rent the equipment to lease the equipment I get that but I uh, I don't know and I found a shortcut here through the trees so I'll show you guys it's pretty cool don't tell the neighbors though definitely don't tell the neighbors Alright, so that's one cool thing about having this truck. 
to watch this. Alright, so it's right... Right through here. Oops. This way. There we go. Alright, now you come down through here. And turn like this. And look at this. There's a little opening right here in the fence. You just drive right through. Perfect, huh? <laughs> Alright, well let me get the rest of this stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys when I'm done. We'll have a total for you. Alright everybody, this is the last little bit right here. Let's see how much we're going to make on it. Should be about... Mmm, 2,000 bucks. 3,000. Alright, so we made about $12,000 on this. On the sugar beets. So, by the time you figure in all the equipment rentals and, oop, and everything like that, we probably only made about half that. Um, but that's still okay because we got the property and it helped pay for some of that. So, I think we're still doing pretty good. We've got almost 50000 right now. Um, tomorrow's going to be, like I said, a big day for us. Truly. Um, I think that's all we're going to do. Is just bail, bail, bail. Um, I might do a contract if somebody's got, you know, if I got time and we get everything else done. And someone's offering one might do that but the main focus is going to be bales I really need to start selling some silage and have some just ready so whenever the price is high I can go ahead and make the most money on it so I'm going to get as close to that you know limit that they give me as I can and then we are just going to crank so I think what I may do is run and get some fuel for the um, tanker that's sitting over here. That way in the morning I can have everything gassed up and ready to go. Um, I was just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with everything. I know that this one right here is going to be our guy that's going to um, bail everything. And I'm pretty sure this guy here is going to be the one. Excuse me. Holy cow. And I know that this guy right here is going to be the one that's going to mow everything. And this guy. I think I'm going to have him do the wrapping. Yeah. He's going to do wrapping. So we're going to do some windrowing too. So I guess what could be going on is we could have Oliver mowing and then we could have Jacob windrowing, me bailing and then we come back over and wrap it and then I come back and pick it up hmm if only we had like four more four workers and two more tractors wouldn't that be a sight just boom 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 nah we'll be alright so that's going to wrap it up for today, everybody. Uh, once again, I appreciate all of the subscribers. Um, I don't know exactly what day this is going to release on yet. But I just wanted to let everybody know. Today is Saturday the 10th. August, or October 10th of 2020. And... 
Y'all, we're at 53 subscribers. Somehow, I've gained, you know, six subscribers in like 48 hours. But we're there, y'all. So be on the lookout for my video of my rig. I don't know if I'm going to be posting it before or after. Holy cow. Sorry once again, everybody. I am tired. Very tired. It's early in the morning. So, um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. I don't know if it's going to post before or after. Um, I don't want to make you guys wait too long. I want to get it out to you for sure. But once again, thank you, everybody. Um, Y'all are amazing. Awesome. And um, let's just keep going. Let's see how far we can take this. I'm excited. I really am. I'm, uh, I don't want to say what my next goal is, but uh, I think we can do it. I definitely do. So, if you liked what you saw today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like what you saw today, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. If you'd like to leave a comment, go right ahead. And if you want to share this with anybody, everybody, honestly, anybody, you know, go ahead again. Um, the more people we have in the channel, the more comments I get, the more I know what type of content. I'm really starting to see a lot of trends um, when I'm doing stuff now because there's enough people watching the things. I can see, you know, minutes watched and I can see number of likes and I can see number of views and the average duration of view and all that different stuff because there's more people in there. I'm getting more than like six people watching my stuff now. So it's awesome. Thank you guys again. You're helping me out greatly. Um, so until next time, everybody, this is Driver53 signing off.